I'm Devin Saran, an application engineer with Teledyne Hastings. And today, I'm gonna to take a few minutes to talk about our brand new four channel power supply, controller, and display, the THD 401. The THD 401 is compatible with our mass flow meters, flow controllers, vacuum gauges, and pressure transducers. Here we can see the modernized new look of the THD 401 that we have connected to our digital 300 view and the HVG 2020B, both of which have touchscreen displays. Through the front panel, you can open, close, or set to auto if you're using a set point for each channel. Under the menu option, you can configure each channel to set set points or inputs, which would allow you to define the units, the labels, the range of the flow rate, and the full scale voltage of each device. How it works is that the THD 401 sends out a 24 volts DC or plus or minus 15 volts DC to power the instruments. Once the devices are turned on, they then send an analog output, for example 0 to 5 volts, that would be proportional to the full scale range of a flow controller. This is then measured by the 401 to create the readings that are displayed on the front panel. The THD 401 can then send a command signal back to the device to adjust or control the flow rate. To power your devices, you just need to connect them using the correct cable to the labeled channel ports on the rear panel. You can also find that we have included an interface port to send a voltage signal out to an external controller. We have also included a USB-C and an Ethernet port for serial communication. The Ethernet port gives the device its own IP address that once entered into any browser, you can view live data streams or access the customizable channel configuration. When you enter the IP address into the browser, you can view all of the live data from each of the device's channels, as well as the ability to open or close the valves, re-zero all of the configuration, or set a set point for each channel. There are also various tabs on the top navigation bar which help you locate additional features. When you click on the channel configuration tab, it will show you the properties for each of the channels. This will allow you to change the input type, define your units, label the channel, determine the range of your device, and set the full scale of the output for each device. There are also other features such as linearization and a totalizer feature that can be found under live data. Although these amazing features can be done conveniently from the web browser, we can still use these functions on the front panel. By selecting the value you wish to change and hitting the enter key, it gives you the option to select the digit. Use the left and right arrow keys to select the digit that you wish to change and then use the circular touchpad to change the value. This allows you to change either the full scale range or the alphanumeric digits for units and label. Well, that about wraps up this video for the THD 401 and thank you for watching. If you need a quote or more information, you can find us at teledyne-hi.com or contact us at 1-800-950-2468 or email us at hastings underscore instruments at teledyne.com. Goodbye.